what's going on y'all welcome to this week's quick tip tuesday today is all about crappie fishing we have been out here wearing out some crappie today the video of me catching these crappie is going to be dropping on friday so y'all be sure to subscribe to get to see that but today we're going to be talking about crappie jigs and everything y'all need to know to throw crappie jigs to catch more crappie all right so i have transitioned off of the water onto a more suitable environment for me to really talk about several different types of jigs when to use them as well as jig heads we are about to cover everything y'all need to know about crappie jigs a to z we're gonna talk about jig head size when to throw them we're gonna talk about jig colors and then we're gonna talk about jig profile so a lot of information right here and i'm gonna try to get it out to y'all as quickly as possible all right so the first thing we're gonna talk about is jig head size different types of jig heads that you're gonna see so uh the most traditional jig head you're gonna see looks something just like this right here got a couple of different styles laid out um my favorite jig head is the vmc neon moon i like them right there they got a little bright head on them and uh they just are a really good quality hook but here's the thing okay we have a 16th ounce we have two 32nd ounce jig heads and then we have a roadrunner 16th ounce bladed jig head all right so here's the deal if i'm fishing uh kind of like a summer or maybe even a winter pattern when the crappie are deep and i'm going to say deeper than eight foot i'm going to use a 16th ounce jig head i'm never really going to go any heavier than this they do make them um moving in closer to the eighth ounce but i will never go heavier than a 16th ounce on a crappie jig um but the most common jig head i'm going to use is a 32nd ounce now i'm going to fish that in eight foot or less right now uh the crappie are shallow they're in a lot of cover and they're on the bed and these size jig heads are perfect uh because the crappie have been around four to six foot here lately so uh 32nd ounce eight foot or less go with a 32nd ounce um and then over here we have our roadrunner bladed jig this is actually one of my favorite style of jig heads anytime i'm outside of the spawn now with a lot of the crappie right now moving in onto brush piles uh treetops things like that to spawn it's hard to throw something like this because it is going to come in a little bit heavier um and it's really hard to work it shallow around brush piles without getting hung up but in the middle of the summer or something like that i can really cover a ton of water bomb cast it out deep fish it off of some deep ledges uh deep brush piles out on the lakes if i'm kind of confused about where the fish are i can tie on one of these and really cover a ton of water um, I also like to use this anytime that I have a lot of muddy water that blade is going to help me displace the water and um, help the fish kind of pick up uh, that crappie jig and key in on that bait so if I got muddy water or if I'm trying to search for bait or I'm sorry search for crappie then I'll throw this jig right here spoiler alert with that go ahead and subscribe to the channel because our next crappie fishing adventure is going to be using the roadrunner jigs i got a really really good episode planned using these so if y'all want to see that make sure you hit that subscribe button because it is going to be some great content so that's pretty much everything on the jig heads right here 16th ounce eight foot or deeper 32nd ounce eight foot or less and then your bladed jigs like that searching for fish dirty water or deep water all right moving on to colors we're going to talk about the different types of colors and when to throw colors in certain water conditions all right so the first color classification we're going to talk about is clear water so you're fishing clear or cleaner lakes rivers creeks things like that these are the different colors that you want to go with uh pearl white great color baby bass right there a little glow bone and then a little black and silver right there but basically if you look at all of these right there they're following that natural uh color matrix they're not overly bold or anything like that and they're going to look more natural so when you're fishing in a clean water 
you're going to want to go with natural colored baits just like this right here so the next color classification we're going to go with is going to be dirty water so if i have muddy brown sedimented water i've got to put something out there that i know my crop you're going to be able to see and darker colors like blacks purples deep blues have a really really good contrast with muddy chalky colored water um, white tends to stick out really really well too so if you're fishing in a muddy chalky water system tend to go with darker or bolder colors uh, that are going to contrast well with your mud and these are some excellent choices right there i love black and chartreuse see black and chartreuse i don't have any uh deep purples or deep blues but if you had them that that would pretty much be the right condition to throw uh, those colors but you want to go with deep darker colors all right and then so our last color classification is going to be dark water like your tannic black water systems right for that you want to go with something that's bold or bright right uh so that's where you would go with your pink and chartreuse like that right there great uh color breakup in dark water something like that right there a little bit bright pink right a little bit bold a pearl white is great an amazing color uh to throw in dark tannic water and then i got another pearl right there so basically if you're fishing dark black tannic water go with brighter colored lures all right so we talked about the jig heads we talked about the different colors in different situations now we're going to talk about the different types of profiles on baits and when to throw them all right so there's three different types of profiles on crappie jigs you're going to have your curl tails your paddle tails and then your straight tails right there that's pretty much the only three there's some other variations and some weird different types of, of jigs you got hair jigs and and this that and other but tr to try to not to confuse anybody uh and try to keep this simple we got curl tail paddle tail and straight tail okay nine times out of ten i am gonna throw a straight tail crappie minnow if you've ever seen little fry and glass minnows down there that these crappie are eating on right they don't displace a whole lot of water um and when you're kind of just barely jigging these through they look about the most natural out of anything in there um but this is only going to work uh if you have clean water okay so if we're in a clean water system i'm going to use this uh, especially right now fishing shallow fishing cleaner water uh got the crappie spawn going on these work really really well uh in your cleaner water now this right here is going to displace the most amount of water out of the three baits uh, i'm going to throw that whenever the water is really really dirty and i need those crappie to key in on my baits maybe it's too dirty for them to see something like that it's a little bit bigger in profile moves a lot more water and if it's coming across a bed or something like that uh, those crappie are likely to key in on it trace it down and, uh, and and take a bite i'll also throw these when i'm looking for bigger crappie bites um you know it's just like i said a bigger profile displaces more water and these will actually pick up some bigger bites in some situations uh, and then the next is going to be your paddle tail which maybe is kind of an in-between maybe uh you don't have super clean water but it ain't filthy at the same time you want to displace a little bit of water get a little bit different profile out there a little bit of a longer profile kick up more water you got your paddle tail right there so if you got maybe slightly stained water you can go with a paddle tail displace more water the key is is you want the fish to see your bait without seeing too much of the bait right you don't want to put a bait out there that's just so bold and in their face that they're like yeah that that's not anything that i'm supposed to be eating right um so you kind of want to be as subtle as possible for the conditions uh you want to match your colors and your profiles based on your water clarity and then your jig heads based on the depth of the water uh, that you plan on targeting your crappie and i hope this video was helpful if y'all would hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time